I be talking about societies right now? So societies are right up here where it's the banner. I'll point to it. So this is mine. Don't try to apply it's full. Well, almost full. I'm doing stuff to it. Um, right here you'll see the update they did. So you can see how many daily wall quest points you have. And then the contributed points you did. Uh, if you're the leader, I'm, per I'm not sure if this login area tab will tell you if people are logged in if you're not leader. I am a leader, so I'm going to assume it. everyone has that. So you can do by who contributed the most. I'm not very doing very hot in that area. You can see who, who's been active for the week. You can see their total amount. And then you can see their login as of right now. There's a couple, three players active and the rest. It'll tell you how long some players been gone so you can keep scrolling down. You'll see the oldest player has been gone for 65 days. You can, uh, if you're a leader, I'm doing leaders only. You can uh, limit the applications you get so you can allow everyone. You can accept only people with a certain amount of clothing, a certain P VIP level. So anyone less than VIP 1 can't enter. And then there's one for VIP 3 and if they're not there, they can't enter. So the society contributed coins are pretty much contributing to unlocking tr branches for the fashion tree. Um, let's go. There's quite a few things, so I'm only going to do three, and then next time I'll do three more. Uh, the wishing well is just this area where you do, you buy uh, wishes for the, each different fountain. Each one will give you a different amount of time coins and contrib uh, contribute points. So, uh, for the first fishing well, it gives you a certain amount of of coins you buy so it's not the same pricing so it goes up the max amount is 8,000 coins so be wary of that and that's same with the other three the more you buy the higher the price it will go there's also a question mark to show you what's the rules for the third thing I'll talk about right now will be the lucky treasure when someone buys something from the shop that um, affects uh the society area you buy the pack it'll pop up and you'll see someone buying something and you can get a little treat next is crazy lovecraft you just bargain with this character we were able to bring it down to 1000 for diamonds for this deal i'll give you a random assortment and a certain amount of days to collect or buy the deal there's also the question mark up here. I'll show you the rules. Uh, let's see. I have enough time to talk about one more thing. Uh, the flower basket. You ask people to give you a certain item. It could be a crafting item or a lantern material item. So those two things you can ask and you can donate right here. It gives you only 30 times to donate. You can also check the rules here. Uh, time Emporium, this gets a little complicated, we'll talk about this area later. And then let's talk about the fashion tree. Fashion tree is something that your society all contributes to, so you nurture the tree to unlock a blueprint. And you unlock the blueprint, you buy it from the Emporium shop, which we'll talk about it in the next different video. Uh, right here tells you the rules. And that's pretty much it. You can also just click on uh, Isabella and she'll show you the uh, a few of the steps. And that's pretty much it. If you're the leader, you can change this description right here. And there's also roles for the societies. So, this is if you're going to become the leader. If you're the leader, you can change the badges and the badge frame. So maybe I want the whale to be using that area. 
So you can also change the name, but it costs 200 diamonds to do so. So be careful when you create one, you don't mess up on the spelling. Um, right here it tells you the the uh, contribute points. If you click that area, it sends you to the wishing wall area also. And societies all have their private chat too, so you can see right here. You can share codes, tell people information about upcoming things. It'll tell people what badges they got or um, what they've done so far. Actually, you can do that. Go back to the society page, info center, log in, log event, and it'll tell you what your society individuals are doing right here. So you can pretty much keep an eye if people are still active and stuff. Um, if you want to leave the society, I'll point, it's that little corner mark up there, I'll point to it and if you want to see your level of the society right here, if you just click on that area right here. To leave, it's that button, but I'm not going to click it just in case I accidentally leave and not become a leader anymore. Uh, this area is just to copy the code for the society if you want to share it with your friends. Uh, right here, it usually tells you the language it's from. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. About something. Uh, I'm going to click the leaving the society page. You can't leave it. Uh, shoot. How do I show you? I'll show you guys right now. Give me a minute. Okay, when you first start out, if you look at the society page, let me leave it. If you're going to leave your society, it'll say this, you'll need to wait two hours. So if you leave it, you can join, this is how it usually looks like. So you search by name, you put the name of the society. If you have the number code, like I showed you prior, you put it up here. And then you can also search by languages. So you just click that tab area and you can look for certain languages if you need it. So there's three different pages. So if you hit the refresh, you'll refresh to the language you asked for. You can uh, try to apply, but it'll tell you you still have to cool down for two hours. So this is what it usually looks like. You can search by the society's name, but if you have the code for the society, like, like I have right here, search for it, you'll find it. They'll still tell you you need to wait two hours. So you're going to have to wait two hours. You can also create your own. But it, it costs you 200 diamonds. I suggest you first try to find a society. Before you can enter. And when you first start a society. It only starts off with 10 members. So you have to be careful with that. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.